And now, the only thing left is for me to review The Rebirth, which is season four, which is a three-episode three-parter. No one really knows uh, what happened with season four. I mean, the obvious can be assumed that, you know, the toys weren't selling well enough, and so Hasbro pull, pulled the plug. Um, and so that's why everything had to be re re um, wrapped up in three episodes. And I had heard about you know, the fact, you know, the nature of season four, that it was only three episodes, you know, that introduced something like 30 characters, and also managed to wrap up the plot, and so going in, I expected just a total clusterfuck, just, you know, for nothing to make sense, and for it just to be, you know, characters being thrown in my face for three episodes, you know, and then a shoehorn bending. But I have to say, I think that the rebirth might be my favorite episode of uh, Transformers if you count a three-parter as an episode. I loved the the headmasters and target masters. I loved the nebulons. I loved you know a bunch of the new characters that showed up. You know, <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff happened all at once. There, it did have a few you know plot issues, you know, with some odd things happening, but all in all, I think season four, the rebirth, was Transformers going out with a bang. It, for me, you know, I think it just, they did everything they wanted to do and had to do, sort of, they brought peace back to Cybertron. Um, I, and I never expected that angle. Never in a million years would I expect, would I have expected, you know, Cerebros, who didn't want to fight and wanted to be a pacifist, and the whole thing that he went through and everything. You know, the rebirth for me is absolutely top notch. And I guess that's really all I have to say about it, is that it just wowed me, it hit me out of the park. Um, I loved a lot of the things it did, a lot of the characters introduced, even though we didn't get a lot of time with them. Considering how strong Season 4 is, in my opinion, I think it would have been nice to have it stretched out over at least 13 episodes, but what we, gr what we got, I'm happy with. And th that being the end of the American G1 series, I was completely happy with it. So now I'm going to go on and uh, do sort of an end cap epilogue about what I think about the show as a whole. Now, what I think about Transformers Generation 1 as a whole is, like I said in my previous video, response to Talk Transformers 2, it's the ultimate framework. It's set up in a whole universe of characters and concepts and, uh, you know, powerful objects and creatures and beings for people to, to think about and talk about and, you know, for them to continue making toys about, and, and comic books, and TV shows, and all sorts of things. And there was so much done in it that... that is left for wanting. You know, characters to be explored, concepts to be enriched, new things to be done, you know, things like Beast Wars took things in a whole new area, and Beast Machines took them even further still. Um, even things like the Dreamwave comics and the IDW comics, who have similar but still very different stances on what they feel uh, Generation 1 was about, whether it's reimagining the characters, such as uh, in things like Transformers Animated or even the Unicron trilogy. It's... By its nature as a toy commercial, it made us care about these characters. It made us love these characters. It made us want to be within this universe. And that's what it's really about, being a Transformers fan. Caring so much about this concept, these characters, you know, the mythology, whatever it is, is what keeps you in, keeps you interested, and keeps you wanting to hear, you know, what, what, do, what are they doing with, you know, Prime in the new show? What are they doing with even the minor characters? You know, what are they doing with tracks? What are they doing with, uh, anyone? I could keep naming names until the end of time. 
Uh, so I'm just going to wrap this up. Transformers Generation 1. Was it a good show? No, it wasn't. Did it... Were good things done with the concepts that say it, it laid down? Definitely. If you're a Transformers fan, or if you're a new fan, and you just watched my video and you're wondering, should I check out Generation 1? If you feel you know enough about the characters that it's not overwhelming, I think you should give it a shot. You know, there's some cheesy things, you know, there's some things that are going to make you laugh out loud with how bad they are, but I think that overall it will enrich your experience in the Transformers fandom and give you new knowledge to go back into the fandom with and appreciate things all new again. I know I can't wait to reread to re -read the IDW comics and finally know all these background characters who appeared and disappeared over the years. So I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, I plan to do more reviews like this uh, once I'm done watching Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory. So if you liked this, look forward to that. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.